What's up guys, my name is Rafael Santiago. I'm a NASM certified personal trainer here with SM Fitness at my home gym. And today I'm gonna to teach you guys on how to do a full body stretch, why you should do a full body stretch, who should do a full body stretch, and when you should do a full body stretch. All right, now I'm gonna explain why you should be doing stretching, who should be doing stretching, and when, when you should be doing stretching. Why you, should do, why you should be doing stretching, I have three main reasons for that. One, because it's gonna help prevent injuries and it can help solve injuries too. So a lot of people have upper cross syndrome. Since we live in a first world society, a lot of people are sitting down all day, they're writing things down, they're on the computer. What happens is your shoulders move forward because you, you want it to be easier for you to write and type and everything. And then what happens is your upper back gets really stretched out and then your front delt and your chest become super tight. So what you wanna do is you wanna do a stretch that of bam, loosen, open this all up so it feels really good. And then also what other, you also wanna do other exercises but to strengthen the back muscles. So doing like pull-ups, doing band pull-aparts, doing any kind of bench over row to make sure you hit those muscles in the back are gonna be excellent for that. The second reason is that it actually makes you look more attractive. If, some, if somebody sees somebody stretching, um, they might not be, hit them consciously at first, they might hit their subconscious. So if they're stretching, they're putting effort into taking care of their body because they don't wanna have those imbalances. If they're taking care of their body, they're more likely doing other things to take care of their body as well. They're probably eating right, they're probably exercising, and people wanna hang around attractive people. So if you're stretching, that's actually something that's really attractive, which also goes into the third thing. Um, if you're attractive, you're going to feel good. And if you feel good, if you feel good after stretching, you look at a kid when they're, when they're super young, they have a lot of energy, and they're pumped up after you're stretching, you're super, uh, you're super loose, you're super relaxed, and you don't have that tension in those other places. So want to help prevent injuries, it makes you feel good, and also makes you look more attractive. So that's the why you should stretch. When you should stretch is also going to depend on your goal. I recommend everyone stretch at least maybe a couple times a day, especially depending on what kind of lifestyle they're living. So for example, bodybuilders should be stretching all the time because they're super, super, super tight. But they shouldn't stretch before their workout, they should morally stretch. stretch after their workout. The stretches that they want to do before their workout is called active stretching. Pretty much moments that are going to mim mimic the patterns they're going to be doing in that workout. Now they should definitely probably do their a full body active stretch versus a just one part because the whole entire body connection. You hear people who have hip problems and it might be caused from their knee. So make sure everything is stretched out and warm, making it to the fluids are getting to the places they need to go so that when you're working out, you're all warmed up and you will, it will lead to less injuries. So stretching after your workout is key. Because what happens if you stretch before you work, your muscles work like a rubber band. If you stretch apart and then you put it together, it's not gonna be as tight. And if you wanna have that high pressure during your workout and your muscles are already loose, it's gonna be hard to contract. And what contracting those is gonna help, well, most of the eccentric portions, what contracting those is gonna be breaking apart with the muscle fibers. And then obviously the negative is a lot um, more if you guys are working that one. So if you won't be able to contract, you won't get that much of the squeeze. And then the muscle's not gonna break out apart as much. So you wanna do it after the workout. Like I said, you wanna be doing active stretching. So pretty much I just went over the who, the why, and um, the who, the how, the why. And I forgot the other one, but you get the point. And the when, duh, because that's what I actually So you can tell I had a lot more energy before, but I'm gonna be a little bit more serious this time. And I'm gonna explain to you guys on like how, how long you should be holding the stretches and everything. So the first stretch I like to do, I like to make sure I have a mat. This is a really good yoga mat, but for today it's gonna do the job. And also, like I said, I'm in my home gym, so if you wanna like, where I'm at, I'm in my home gym. So right now, my favorite stretch to do first, while it's sitting down, we stretch out the glute and the IT manual a little bit. Put your right leg over your left leg, and then bam, you hug your leg. Make sure your foot is as close to your body as you can get it. And if it doesn't go that far back, and you're not stretching your glute, you do a good job, hug your leg. Then you can hold the stretch in about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how tight the muscle is. And then right after I do the glute and the IT band stretch, I twist to the right, I stand on my, my back, my mat, and now my abs, and a little bit of my upper back. Right after that, I'm gonna go up to the Cobra. I'm gonna lean up forward, and then right back. So right now the Cobra stretch just hit my uh, abdominals, and I'm doing right now, uh, they call it child pose, it's hitting my upper back, pretty cool too. And then right after I hit my back and my abs, I like to go into a hip stretch, because a lot of people have super tight hips. I'm gonna angle the camera up a little bit more so you can see my face. So right now, I'm gonna bring one leg forward, and I'm gonna lean forward. The stretch is right here, my front hip. It's super tight. If you have an office job, it's going to be one of the areas that are going to be super tight. And also can cause anterior pelvic tilt, which is something that I have and I've been working out. Anterior pelvic tilt is caused by a curve in your upper back, weak hamstrings, tight hips, and weak abdominals. So right after that, I'm going to keep my legs straight. I'm going to lean forward. I'm going to keep my back straight as possible. I feel right now my hamstrings and my calf. 
And then bam, I'm gonna go right back into my, my hip stretch, but I'm doing the other leg, feeling it right now on my hip. Lean forward, right here in the front. And same leg, keep it straight. Bam, lean forward. Cool, so right now, I got my lower body hit. And also, I have to do, uh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a standing quad stretch. I like that variation a lot better. I got a little bit of my shoulders, a little bit of my back, but I want to isolate my back a little bit more too because I still feel it's a little tight. So what I do is I keep both my hands straight, hug them together, and then I'll ride back into it. If you want to hit more of a certain lat, you lean more towards the opposite way. So right now I'm going to hit my uh, right lat, feel it on the turning left, feel my left lat, feel my left lat, and turn right. So another one of my favorite stretches, uh, pretty much I call this one of the office stretches. So a lot of people who sit down all day are going to absolutely love the stretches. The stretch I was talking about at the beginning of the workout where your front's out and your chest is super tight. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your hand in your parallel to the wall. And you're obviously through the wall here, my face will be hitting it. So no, absolutely don't hit the uh, wall with your face. What you're going to do is you're going to twist out. Bam. Right now you can see the definition. You can see that it's being stretched right here and here. So right now I'm feeling my front delt being stretched, all this area, and then my chest too. So I usually, like I said, hold it for about uh, 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how tight. And then bam, go to the other side. I have the same exact muscle. So it's right here, good too. Cool. I'm also going to show you one last stretch. It's one of my, uh, also my, one of my favorite quad stretches. Um, it's called, I call it the standing cross stretch of your quad. So what you're going to do is, so if, I'm using, so if I'm trying to stretch out my left leg, I'm going to have my right, left, my right hand. I'm gonna reach for my foot and I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna make sure I'm squeezing, squeezing my hamstring, my glute as hard as I can to really get the stress and isolate that quad. And you're also gonna feel a little bit in your hips too. Bam. So see my hand right here, pulling my opposite leg. Hold it for about 30 seconds and then bam, switch legs. And then you're pretty much good. But if you notice, I got my glutes, hamstrings, quads, calves, I got my arms too, so I did a lot of uh, my. So back stretching, also I have my shoulders when I was on the ground too. Got my abs in, got my chest, got pretty much everything. If you guys have any more recommendations, please put it in the comments below. Thank you so much and I'll see you there in my next video.